wrestling is real and I'm tired of pretending like it isn't. This is me. If wrestling wasn't real, why would Phil be next to Al Bundy? See him Phil, Al Bundy, karate outfits. It's real. And I stand with the real fans. The real fans. Sean of the Maids Cosplay Adventures met all elite wrestling superstar Miss Anna J at Steel City Con this weekend. And she didn't choke me out, so I call that a win. I call that a win too, Anna J. He paid for they they paid for that photo. They did it. And the bat duster and bat heels with the bat leash. These are the fans I, I stand with, unironically. I mean, if you could pay someone to do this, I mean, I, I, if I had that kind of money, I would totally do that. We got, got another fan I stand with. Real time, I'm sitting at the arena, waiting for the AW House Rules wrestling event to start. No shoes and nylons, and I stink! I feel really bad for whoever sits around me, shoes off all night. Who's buying me a drink? Cash up, Miss Feet Stink. Feel, sorry, feet sweaty, barefoot, smelly. Uh, free, feel, feel free to give this this beautiful human being at the AEW event with their their foot fetish thing. Feel free to give them money. Uh, they they earned it. I stand with these people. I stand with this person. They sent the FTW champion. They sent Hook. My teenage daughter just became a woman right in front of me. Hashtag AW House Rules. AW. I don't know. These, these house shows, they're doing pretty well. I can see why they don't do them anymore. Too good. Anyway, so I'm I'm responding to this uh, the hater, um, some some dude on Discord wanted me to make a video copying this one, but I was like, nah, I, I I don't know, I don't know if they're ironic in their thing or not, but I'm just gonna respond like it's unironic. Um, so this dude in the video is like, oh Vince, Vince created pro wrestling, modern pro wrestling, he knows what's good for you. Pro wrestling is like a book, a TV show. You consume product. Do not cheer for or against product. Do what product tells you to. Just kind of being like, oh man, this this whole thing, pro wrestling, which is, is by the way, it's a glorified, like, popularity contest. You know, just like those things you see in your, your manga, in your Jump Magazine, or your Shonen Sunday, or your Magazine Magazine. Or your Gan Gan, or which, what, you know, whatever you're getting your, your manga from. One of these, uh, Ankits. Um, it's, it's basically that. It's a popularity contest. It's all wrestling is. So, how dare you boo people for, for no reason. People that Vince doesn't want you to boo. You're entitled. You should be consuming it like a book. And, I don't know, it just kind of hits on a lot of points. Um... Modern wrestling fans just do not understand wrestling. I know this carny over here, Jeff Jarrett, does. But more so, his dad, Jerry Jarrett, um, who acted as a booker and promoter for most of his career. Which is, is, is generally how things were. You didn't have a writing team. You had a promoter and a booker. Sometimes they were the same person. And they would tell you who's going to be a babyface, who's going to be a heel, who's going over, who's not. If you had an angle, uh, you worked it out with the boys, you got it over with the booker. Dusty Rhodes, same kind of thing, booker, promoter. You went to him and you were like, ah, oh, I should be going over, or, you know, that kind of thing. Like, it was a whole planning process in the territory system. And then these territories were all sort of part of the uh, the NWA National National Wrestling Alliance. Not all of them officially, some unofficially because of some some uh, practices. But yeah, it was just like a whole system, and they'd have their own booking committee for the actual like NWA World Champion versus your local 
territory world champion. And yeah, the most you'd get is a booker or a booking committee. Maybe a few people to help him work out the angle. You know, we got TV later on with your your WWE and your WCW, and that, that kind of turned into more of a, you got to add more people in, and it morphed into something it, it shouldn't be. But, yeah, it was just a series of, of tubes. That's what wrestling was. And I'll, I'll link this, uh, this picture here. It's pretty interesting. It goes over each territory's, like, main guy. Like, you got Bruno and the WWWF. And you got your, your Von Erichs over there in World Class Championship Wrestling. It's really, it's a nice little handy thing. Um, found it on the Reddit, and it's from this uh, little comic book thing here. So, it's pretty cool. Um, so anyway, yeah, they, they can't, WWE, they can't handle the yes chance. Oh no, you entitled fans, you can't want the, the Daniel Danielson to go over. Oh no. Whereas back in the day, dudes were just getting stabbed by by marks, like fans that were really getting into it. They thought it was so real, they had to stab someone. And these dudes were like, yeah, I, I got stabbed. Roddy Piper, getting stabbed. It's just what you did. Like, oh no, the, the fans are chanting a mean thing or thing that they're so entitled. You know what? These fans were entitled. You're entitled to someone else's life. And you know what? I, I don't I don't mind the stabbings. I don't mind I don't I don't mind wrestlers assaulting fans or fans vice versa. I don't know. It's a it's a fun free for all. It just seems the way it should be. It just feels right to me. But I don't know, WWE, it's not wrestling because you know you got Vents and he's like, no, the word wrestling is banned. In my wrestling promotion. And, you know, you can't say pro wrestling, you don't want to say the belt. Different words like that. Up until recently, when you have, like, Cody and a few other people, they'll say wrestler over sports entertainer. But, you know, we got it's going to be changing soon with Vince out. But, still, is it really wrestling? Is WWE really wrestling? Is anything really wrestling? Seems like things have kind of changed. Like you get, you get your, um, you got your Cody Rhodes here, and he can say the W word. He can say wrestler. He also is allowed to do his own promos. Same thing for for Randy Orton, who is POV. Randy Orton is is rubbing your foot. Um, he's allowed to go do his own. You know, promos, doesn't have to follow a script. Younger guys, not so lucky. You get the, the WWE writer room, which is it morphed from being just like, you know, the creative team that would help with booking, and then they got a little bit more creative, and you get your Russos and everything else, and boom, these guys are writing your lines like a script. You can't go off of it unless you're like, literally one of the biggest stars in pro wrestling which you can you're gonna get shit if you say pro wrestling so you better not say that and yeah i mean look look at these dorks this is a i'm not gonna play too much of it but look they're over there and they're they're wwe dang get out of here i don't i don't want these guys i want some deranged person booking my wrestling Someone who may or may not commit crimes. I, I don't want these people. They're, they're soft. It's not it's not wrestling. It's not I mean at one point they had like Stephanie as head of creative. How how could you say that's a good decision? It's not. It's terrible. I mean it's not I don't know. The, the AEW system is still pretty bad, but at least you get Tony over here. And Tony's like, you gotta book what I say. You know, it'll let Will and some of the other guys, like, book a few things. Like, originally it was like, oh yeah, you, Kenny and the Bucks, they can help book stuff. But, at the end of the day, this guy kind of took power back. Um, I want to say the most power they probably had is Kenny being like, hey, you guys can't have people kick out of my finisher. One Wing Angel, it's, it's the only thing that you're allowed to 
not kick out of, but I don't know. And then, I, I don't know, I guess there was another point in the video where the dude was like, Oh man, they're so soft. Look at all these soft wrestlers. These fans, I hate them. They want soft wrestlers. Well, you know what, Newsflash? Wrestlers are always soft, even when they're like fake tough guys. Like, you get Dr. Death, Steve Williams, getting beat up in the brawl for all because Vince thought it would be a good idea to have actual, like, shoot fights in WWE. You, re you, you learn real quick that a lot of these big guys are not the best fighters. Um, I mean, you get, get people that are legitimate fighters, like, uh, or re legitimate shoot wrestlers, like, uh, your Ken Shamrock, or, um, get your MMA guys, like your Brock, but it's like, okay, that's, it's few and far between. Most wrestlers, no matter how big they are, you could beat them pretty easily if you're, like, a trained fighter. So, I don't know. I mean, fans aren't always the best. Some, some fans, Smarks, Smarks, wherever you want to call them, they watch the WrestleMania, and then they go to the shows and they say, We want tables! We want tables! This is, no, and they, they do this and they ruin things. I mean, I guess, I guess those fans aren't cool. But the cool fans, I'm, I'm all for. I like Tarp. Tarp is my favorite wrestling fan. It's not very opinionated, but it's there. I don't know, maybe, maybe someone can, can save wrestling. Maybe this dude. Maybe we can get... Get a promotion where we can book uh, Josie as a world champion. Look at this. Boom! Right there. I don't know. Trained shoot fighter. I think she can transition into um, worked fights too. I think it'd work out. Here's Sean. Sean Michaels. Um, I have no context. I just want to know what the story is behind this, this picture. That's all I want to know. I don't know. Also unrelated, but I'm I'm pretty happy that Sunny Kiss is back. I mean, look look at these moves. I love it. Oh, it's it's, it's literally just like Voldo from Soul Calibur. It's like Sunny's great. If if you don't like this, there's something wrong with you. Um, I don't know. But I guess this counts as a response, right? 